Listen, I've been a content creator for seven years. I've seen some of the crazy shit and I've had a lot of the crazy shit happen to me. I have just learned not to talk about it because here, let me just give you a little piece of information. One of two things. One, with stalkers, usually what happens is somebody wants to be in your life in a really, really good way. And then when it's not the way that they fantasized it being because they have an image in their head of how they want your relationship to be. And then they feel like you're rejecting them or pushing them away. They'll still want to be in your life, but now they'll be a bad force because it's just no matter what they want to be in your life and two if you're dealing with somebody that is stalking you and it, it's not like a love partner or maybe it's somebody online or something like that do not refer to them as my stalker please refer to them as the stalker you need to distance yourself as much as possible when you call them my stalker they feel special they feel like they're a part of your life and that's what they want. So let's not do that. Just don't forget. It's the stalker, the weirdo, the creep. Okay. We have this very interesting case where what happens when the stalker doesn't think they're wrong? This video is called Stalker Goes to Cops to Complain About Being Threatened for Stalking. We'll be listening with our eyes and our ears. Okay. I don't know what that means. Sure. And I was going to play a song for a woman that I kind of like. And uh, I got there, and she saw me, and she immediately pulled away. And uh, I, I wasn't forcing her li to listen or anything, you know. I just wanted to play the song for her, you know, give her her own choice yeah. if she wanted to be with me, you know. Okay. Does she know you? Yeah, I worked with her there for like five, six months. Did y'all have a relationship? No, we were talking a little bit, but it never really got. This guy's like, I know exactly what this is. Help us, officer! Yes. Okay. But anyways, I pulled up there and I was in the other parking lot and I saw her get in her car. And I, saw, I was like, oh shoot, it's my moment. So I pulled up there next to her and she pulled away. Did he say, oh shit, it's my woman or it's my moment? Other parking lot and I saw her get in her car. And I, saw, I was like, oh shoot, it's my moment. So I pulled up there oh, next to her. it's my moment. Pulled away from me and uh, so I chased her a little bit just because I don't know, women are crazy. Like I felt like she like wanted me to chase her. Do you her. not think chasing somebody's crazy? Well, oh. it's just like, I only went like a couple of blocks down the street. I'm just saying, don't you think chasing somebody's crazy when they, when they obviously don't want to... Well, I had my song playing and I wanted to like her to hear it maybe. Well, apparently but... she didn't want to hear it, right? So what else happened? Let's get on with these. You've heard of the man showing up outside of the house with the boom box. Now, imagine the man chasing you down the street just a couple of blocks with the boombox because it's his moment and he wants you to hear his song. Oh my God. <laughs> um, well, anyways, her, her father called me up and he made some threats to me and to my life. Exactly. And so I just want to have his name what, on file. What, what did he say to you? Uh, I think he said he's going to stab me. Like, yeah, my daddy would have called he's too. He's like cussing at me. He said that? He said, he says, I'm going to do something to you. I swear I do something to you. For chasing your daughter? Yeah, but it wasn't chasing. It was like going down a couple streets. Like, let me just say, angry dad energy when, when a dude is f***ing with your daughter is, it's some of the funniest shit ever. Uh, one time, my ex-boyfriend was showing up at my house doing some crazy stuff. Hey, look, y'all, you know, I'm a gangster, but gangsters get scared sometimes, okay? My estranged father came in to help. He called up this man with the, with the thick Boston accent and put the fear of God in him. And suddenly, my ex-boyfriend left. So, I support this father in whatever he said, okay? That's like fun to women. Like women like that, a little no, bit of excitement. Don't. No, they don't. No. Women well, don't like to be judged. What about like If I was a porn. father, I'd probably tell you the same thing. What about like BDS and porn, where what? women like to have fantasies? Well, apparently this girl doesn't. Well, who knows? Most women do like having fantasies. Okay, do you think she does? I don't know. But, but, but it's not your responsibility to find out. Well, so, so what do you want us to do? Well, I just want you to get his name on file, just in case he does do anything do you, do you to me. Do you know his name? I know his daughter's name. Sir, we'd like to call you up and congratulate you on being an excellent father. Uh, you know, sometimes we don't have time to get to every single case, and we appreciate you bringing this fucking creep straight to our doorstep. So thank you very much, sir. Thank you for being an American. Thank you for being a great father. That's how I think the call should go. Adjourned. What do you know his name? I know her name. I don't know his name. He called me from a restricted phone number. Okay. Here's, here's my suggestion. Leave her alone. <laughs>
Well, this was one song I made, and this was the final chance I was going to have. He here's made the here's song. Here's my advice. It's over. Leave her alone. Okay. Fathers will hurt you over their daughters. Yeah, but that's the thing is she needs to have her own free will, man. You listen, do you not understand? Listen, I'm listen, a man myself, listen, bro, and listen, I have needs listen, myself. She, she's choosing her free will by telling her daddy what happened to you, and I'm telling you, stay away from her because he will hurt you probably. She's being controlled by him. That's that's fine. That's fine. And that's that's her choice, right? Free well, choice, free will. I think she should go do. Okay, you need to leave. It's legal. Oh, you need to leave. dude, well, this man is imagining if this was happening to his daughter, and I come like he he's feeling infuriated, and I super accept it. We're not doing anything. You need to leave. I'm I'm having discussion on. I'm having discussion. Telling you to leave. Are you threatening wow. me with threat? This, now, this guy, he, he minimized, you hear it so much, this conversation, three minutes in, he minimizes every single little thing. Uh, he said, I just wanted to play her the song. She's got free will. She just needs to listen. What did he just say? Hold on. We're not doing anything. You need to leave. I'm, I'm having discussion on it. I'm just having a discussion. Oh my God. How often have you guys been in a situation? One in the chat, if you've been in a situation where you're super uncomfortable and you express your discomfort and set a boundary and the person's response is, I just want to talk. It's so simple. What's wrong with you? I just want to talk. You know what you tell them? I don't want to have this conversation with you because it makes me uncomfortable. Your version of just talking actually is very uncomfortable for me. And let's see what the f they say to that. I'm having a discussion telling you to leave. Are you threatening me with I'm arrest? I'm not threatening you. I'm telling you to leave. Get out. This we're is done. a public property. We're done. Well, you can stay if you want. If you, if you, if you, if you do that on public property, I'll... You know, I'll leave you're, under. You're free. you're free to do whatever you want to right here, but we're not doing anything else. I'm just giving you advice. The girl doesn't want to talk to you. Leave. Yeah, but this, there's something twisted about that. There's something twisted about the way you think. Yeah. I, I was going to let her make her own choice after the song. Well, sounds like she did. Choice. And I just don't think she had a reasonable opportunity to make a choice because I'm going to blow how up and I'm going to be a famous how, DJ and I'm going to be how, like. How old is she? Uh, two years older than me. 27. How much? 27. You don't let her make her own mind. I'll speak with her. Is she working today? Uh, I think so. You have her phone number? Yeah, uh, help her I out. So. Uh, but help her out. I can't stop recording the video. Well, that's okay. I'll go buy her job. She works at Cracker Barrel, right? Correct. Okay, I'll speak with her and then I'll get back to her. She working at Cracker right, Barrel. She got good. enough problems. Help her Thank out. You guys. What's going to happen next? Oh my God. We're about to see his face. I just hovered it. Did you guys see? I don't know if you saw. I If you didn't see it, I need you to just create a mental image right now of what he looks like. Now, listen. I will say, no matter how crazy somebody is, we do not make fun of their appearance. That's a low blow, okay? I encourage you to think critically and really just go for the personality, okay? But I just want you to have a mental image. Just think about what he looks like. Oh, shit. You know what? Lindsay's dad, I hope you see this video. that okay zoolander calm down chat you're on the screen this is your moment permission to roast now listen I want a good clean fight don't just go for the appearance all right we've got a lot of material here to work with that's all i got to say the cops want to deny me trying to get her to be straight something what about that i don't see why these traditional ass trying to be straight think they can speak shit whenever it's this woke belligerent lgbt huh? shit that has her right now <laughs> you're mad that she likes girl you're mad you're mad that she likes girls and not you <laughs> trust me it's not just because she likes girls okay let's just make that very clear and her father is controlling the bullshit <gasps> i just don't see it i'm older than her father what? That's how I feel right now. I've lived this life. I've been the greatest. I've been down and I've been about. I don't know where this is going, but um, snakes, man. She was gonna lure me into a trap. Whenever I was gonna go, you know, play a song for her. It's just how it is. But uh, shout out to all my bros. I know that. My bros? 
Incel community, for sure. Incel community. You know, I'm, I'm like, I'm really getting depressed recently, you guys. I feel like, uh... Yeah, it's not faking. He needs to be on a watch list. He needs to be on a list. Somebody said, glad he recorded this and his face. Yeah. He literally told the police officers that he just, that, that he believed that this LGBTQ woman had a fantasy. Come the fuck. What? I have no, I have no rationale. I can't. I cannot. 